What is good, everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cab back with a video that is honestly like it, it's depressing to talk about. This new feature, Limit Burst, is game breaking in a sense. Like, why? I, I, I just want to know why. Like, if a developer from Dimps or if you watch this, what was going through your mind? What made you think it was a good idea to add this limit burst that you could use online? Now, if it was offline, I would have no problem with it, but it's online. Huh? What made them think this was a good idea? So what we're going to do in this video is basically showcase a couple. We're not going to go through a lot of uh, like all of them because we could just basically do this for like 30 minutes at least. But we're going to showcase a couple OP Super Souls that have OP Limit Burst abilities with them on some characters just to show you guys what these Limit Bursts are truly like and what they actually do. Now there is one thing I want to mention about these things. You cannot use them on rank with limits or player match with limits. So most likely you will see a lot more people playing with limits as opposed to without limits because this limit burst thing can honestly be a major issue in the game for multiple reasons that we'll get into in a quick second. But first, I want to just take a quick look at some of the limit burst descriptions and what they do. This one right here raises final Kamehameha attack up. The attack up boost, as you guys will see, is absolutely insane when you decide to use this, whether you have it on your CAC or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This one right here does attack up auto rec uh, and, and key auto recovery. This one is honestly a pretty good Super Soul. The only downside to it, or it's very pretty good limit burst, the only downside to it is the stamina recovery and speed down. But that's not really the OP one. This one right here, guys, auto health and stamina recovery, defense down is literally the worst in the game like you probably will not see this type of limit burst be using at all the sword of hope attack up is pretty op as well you literally can do some insane damage as you guys will see in a second um looking for a certain one okay this one right here auto just guard literally you get an auto just guard and with some super souls like weiss's super soul the auto just guard is just insanely OP because you can get so much health back very, very easily. You gotta be kidding me. So that's one of the very OP versions right there. And the other one I'm looking up is looking for is the autos, the um auto super armor or the super armor applied defense up thing. Do I have any for those? Really? Okay, here we go. Defense up. You've got super armor. My foot is about to drill a hole in your ass. Key recovery um, speed down. Who really cares about that? You literally get super armor. It, it, you can't stand with a break this super armor, anything like that. This right here is a very, very OP version of Limit Burst, and there's even more issues with it that you guys are about to see in a second, but that's enough talking on the basics. Let's get into the actual training mode to showcase some of these OP Limit Burst features. All right, let's get this started just showcasing how OP these Limit Burst features truly are. Like I said, we're going to just showcase a couple different characters to show the different features and different uses of this Limit Burst. Now, first one I want to do is with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. His gives a final Kamehameha attack up boost. So let's see what it does without the Limit Burst. You get a total of 6,950 damage, which is pretty weak to be honest for a final Kamehameha. That's kind of crazy. But we turn on the Limit Burst and now let's see what the damage actually is. Now you're going to get a total of 15,363. Uh, uh, so you're telling me that this limit burst feature literally is going to double my, my, my final comment? I'm out, literally? Like what? This is more than double as a matter of fact. Like this is just absolutely insane to me. How do you double the damage? How? How do you get a 100% increase to damage? You know, awoken skills and things like that at max give you 20%. And then an XL boost, I believe, is 30%. If I correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not down below. Like XL boost on Super Souls and things like that. It may be 30, it may be also 20. I don't remember for sure. But again, either or, you're getting a 100% boost from this. Like, what is that? That is absolutely insane. It just does not make sense to me. How does a move do 7,000 damage, basically, and then you turn the limit burst on? It does 15,000. You're not even getting 100% boost. You're getting 100 and like 20% boost damage wise. Like, does that make sense? Honestly, who thought this was a good idea? Who? Please, 
please, whoever was at Dimps, I, I, I need to talk to you because this just does not make sense. But we're going to showcase a couple others before we go on to just the end of this video because it's just frustrating looking at this. Okay, people thought Weiss's Super Soul was an issue before. Huh, huh, just wait. Just wait till you see this. This is absolutely mind blowing. You will be like, what the hell is this? We're gonna put my health to danger, put trunks to ultimate attack one. I believe that's full power energy wave. Let's see if it is. And it is. Now check this, dude, are you serious? My man's literally just gained about 80% health back doing nothing. Look, look, look. I'm doing nothing. I'm not pressing a button here. Now I'm getting health back for free. Like, again, if you thought Weiss's Super Soul was a problem before, check it out now. And this is not the only one. There are many more. I'm just going to showcase probably like two or three more, though, in total. But again, there are many more that are just insanely OP in this game. And it's just crazy, again, that they added this feature to Xenoverse 2. Okay, now we are on Trunks, which his Super Soul gives a boost to um, so a Sword of Hope. Gives a boost to it just like Final Kamehameha got a boost with Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So what we're going to do again is test Sword of Hope without having the boost active and then with having it active. So one, two, three, come here. I ain't done yet. And we get a total of 9,721 damage. Now I'm kind of scared Broly may die. So I'm going to put his health on unlimited because he, he may die with this limit burst option thing, you know, being active. So now with the limit burst, op uh, limit burst active, get the sort of a hope attack up let's see how much damage we get now come here broly i ain't done do you see that 19,038 damage again more than a hundred percent increase just to an attack a hundred percent why where it, what logic like it just does not compute in my head how they can do this what made them think that this was okay in any type of way form or fashion it just does not make sense to me now there is probably one or two more that i want to showcase for you guys real quick and then there are a different feature of limit burst that i also want to showcase for you guys because it, the the op factor of this it, it's just not it's not one there are multiple things that are op about limit burst Okay, the last ver variation of the limit burst that I really want to showcase as far as the ones that are extremely OP in my opinion, there are more attack ones as well, but these are just like the main ones that apply to more super souls like the, the super guard, the auto just guard, things like that apply to more super souls than the attack up ones. So Broly's gives you a super guard feature. Now this super guard is pretty much, it's, it's unpenetrable. Like you cannot do anything to it. You cannot stamina break it. You can't do anything. If I'm sitting here and you do a charge heavy attack, uh, you will not, it won't be a stamina break. Like you will not get a stamina break off. I'm literally, I literally have super armor like this. It is absolutely insane that they give this to a character in the game. Super armor was a problem with offline play. Offline play made with super armor made it annoying. How is online play going to be with a feature like this? Like, really? What, again, what in their right mind made them think that this was a good idea? I really don't understand what Dimps and Bandai was thinking because Dimps did it and then Bandai had to give an okay on it, right? I'm just assuming. But again, I, 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 I don't know what was going through their minds. It just truly makes no sense to me. This is just, it's such an insane feature that I, I, I was shocked. If you do want to see my first reaction to it and hear it and all that, be sure to check out the homie DB Zenkai's video on Limit Burst as well. I was, uh, it was him, me, him, and Nagoy talking about it, just testing it out for the first time, getting our first live reactions. So if you want to check that video out and have a good laugh with this, be sure to do so. I'll have that link down below in the description. Now, last thing I really want to showcase with Super Guard, or last two things, is how it can be used as a defensive mechanic to make it even more op than it already is so we're gonna change this to oh i, I gotta restart it because i don't have my uh limit burst active oh i gotta actually hold on i gotta go back to character select and restart this whole thing because you can only use limit burst i guess one time per training okay we're back in the training mode and the last thing i want to showcase is how this can be used if you are stamina broken not if you have your opponent's stamina broken if you are personally stamina broken how you can use this limit burst to where it's just like jaw dropping like i said so hope sit back try not to fall out your chair seriously now we got trunks set to super strong just so he can attack me so come here trunks my stamina is broken and as you see i literally just got out of mid combo of a stamina break 
I got out and what am I going to do afterwards if I'm an online player? I'm going to snap banish away until I have my stamina fully recovered just like I did right there. Why did they add this dumb ass feature to the game? There are multiple issues with it. It's not just one. Like this is a feature that adds multiple issues alone with a different type of limit burst abilities. And then you got nonsense like this where you can use it while being attacked and you can use it while your stamina broken being attacked to get away and get your stamina back completely very, very easily because of the snap vanish feature in this game. What were they thinking? I I honestly cannot even talk on this subject anymore. It's very, very frustrating to me. The more I talk about it, the more I see it because this was supposed this DLC was supposed to be just so amazing and it still is. The content is great. But why did they add this? Again, a lot of people will not be playing rank without limits or player matches without limits for the most part anymore. I really do not see it happening. I see a lot of people coming over to the with limit side just due to the fact that this limit burst feature is just going to get very annoying and very cheesy very quick. I can already see it happening. So again, I... Let me know your thoughts on this down below. How frustrated are you? Do you actually like this feature? Like, this is a dope offline feature for sure. If this was just an offline thing, it would be amazing in my opinion. But the fact that it's online as well, let me know your thoughts on that down below. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more DLC content. The more we get, the more I'm going to do for you guys. I may have another video out today. I don't know. I will try my best. But if not, tomorrow, most likely, I'll definitely have another two videos out for you guys. So, again, stay tuned for that. But till next time, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a good day. Peace, y'all.